أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم All praises and adoration are to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We seek for his blessing and mercy upon the noble soul of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his household, his companion and the generality of Muslim to the day of recompense I mean, so today mark the uh, first Ramadan lecture uh, of uh, Arayan Academy. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept it from us as an act of revival. We should know that during this month of Ramadan, I encourage to engage in a lot of righteousness in a lot of goodness because any good deeds that we do in this month of we are going to have a lot of rewards from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can you can you hear me yeah yes, yes. Okay, if you can't understand what I'm saying, you can signify so that I can try to, you know, make it more uh, easy for you to understand. So if you look at the screen, if you look on the screen, you will see that the topic of our today's discussion that happens to, that happens to be the fourth Ramadan lecture of our academy is the virtues of righteousness in the month of ramadan so we are all aware that we are in the month of ramadan are we yeah yes we are all aware that we are in the month of ramadan so the month of ramadan how many of us know about the month of ramadan or who can tell me what you know about month of Ramadan? Okay, Rashida, what do you know about month of Ramadan? Um, is March. Yeah, month of Ramadan. Talk about what is the month of Ramadan. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. You tried. Good job. If you can raise your hand and you want to say something, that's very good. But Anne, what do you know about month of Ramadan? Um, make some things for Ramadan. Okay, do? okay, thank you. Okay, but Anne, what do you want to tell us about the month of Ramadan? But Anne, I think you want to say something about month of Ramadan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Abdul Fatah. Is this Abdul Fatah? No. Ahmed. Okay, Ahmed, right? Um, no, you... Ahmed. You are Ahmed. I'm not Ahmed. Okay, your name is Ahmed. No, my name is not Ahmed. What is your name? Just tell me your name. Zahir. Zahir. Oh, Zahir. Okay, good job, Zahir. Zahir, what do you want to tell us about Ramadan? That there is the nun, that there is on the ninth month of, of the Islamic calendar. Good job to Zahir. Yes, because that was our last discussion. Uh, when we, the last, our character nobility program was about Ramadan, our preparation for Ramadan. We talked about Shaban and we talked about Ramadan because the last CNP was in the month of Shaban. Now today, Alhamdulillah, we are in the month of Ramadan. So Ramadan, everyone, 
you have to know that Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic month. Or we say Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. We have the Islamic calendar that is different from that of the January, February, March, April that we used to count. So Ramadan, so if we count our own calendar, that is the Islamic calendar, if you count it one, two, three, four, five, six, so Ramadan is in number nine. Okay, thank you, Zahir. So today, our discussion will be, I hope you all have your writing materials with you. I can see Zahir. Zahir is really prepared. Because at the end of this uh, presentation, we are going to have a Kahoot game. We are going to play a game so in which you are going to be asked some questions and you'll be the one to answer those questions. So that we can write down some points. So some points that are very, very important. So, so that we can write them down. The topic of our today's discussion is the virtues of righteousness in the month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, we all know what Ramadan is by now because Zahir already told us that Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. Okay, now today, what do we expect to know at the end of this presentation? What are the things that we are going to know at the end of this presentation. Number one, Zahir, good job to you. Zahir told us what Ramadan is. At the end of this discussion, we are going to know what is Ramadan. Zahir already told us Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. We must know that because that was our last discussion. And we are going to know what is righteousness. So we may, you may be, you are hearing it for the first time. We are going to know what is righteousness. And also, we are going to know the virtues of Ramadan. Yes, Ramadan has virtues. So we are going to know it, the virtues of Ramadan. And also, we are going to know, we are going to know about fasting in Ramadan. Fasting in the month of Ramadan. How does it go? When we are fasting, how do we expect to fast? And when we are fasting, so what are the rewards that we are going to have? And what is the rules? Is it mentioned in the Holy Quran? Is it mentioned in the Holy Hadith of the Prophet? We are going to know that. And lastly, the goals of Ramadan. Yes. What are those things we are expected to achieve? Or that we must do in the month of Ramadan? So these are things that we are going to be discussing today. So I hope you all have your writing materials with you already. Now, now let's continue. So number one, they already told us what Ramadan is. He said, Ramadan, mashallah, good job, Zahir. It's like Zahir already saw this slide, but no, because he was part of the it was part of our last discussion. He was able to join our CNP. So we talked about Ramadan as well. So number one, Ramadan is the ninth month of Islamic lunar calendar. I said Ramadan is different from our normal calendar, which is January, February, March, April. But no, in Islamic, in, in Islam, we have our own calendar. Yes. We have our own calendar, which the calendar is, you know, is based and was counted based on the uh, on the on, on the movement of the moon. Yes, that is why we call it lunar calendar. We use the moon. That was our last discussion on our CNP. That is why it's good for every one of you to be joining the character nobility program. There are many things we are going to learn from it. So for the, the so-called um, 
moon to count it. So we we'll call it Islamic lunar calendar. So Ramadan is the ninth month. The first month, who can tell me the first month in the Islamic lunar calendar? Farida, let me call this time. Farida, the first month in the yes. Islamic lunar calendar is? The first month in the Islamic lunar calendar is? The first month. Hmm, okay, no problem. I'll call on Farah. Mm, no, no, no. Faran, what is the first month in the Islamic lunar calendar? I is think Sabira first... has... Huh? Don't is tell me it is that... Islamic... Yeah, the first month. Just tell me the name. First month in the Islamic calendar. Ah, the first month... Is... Just tell me. Okay, Sabiro, Sabiro, I need your camera. Don't worry, Farah. First. Okay, if you remember, you can just put it on the chat box. Sabiro. Yes. Next month in the Islamic calendar. Okay. I ask Zahir. Zahir, can you tell us the first month in the Islamic calendar? Mm. I have oh. to for okay, no problem. And tell me, okay, mashallah, Zubair. First month is, uh, is it Muharram? Uh, Muharram. Oh my god, Sabira, and you are part of the you are with us last week, no, no, not last week, I think last two weeks, when we discussed about the Islamic months. The first month is Muharram. The first month is Muharram. Okay. So the first month is Muharram. Okay. So, good okay. job to Zubair. Now the ninth one is Ramadan. The ninth one is Ramadan. So Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar. We all say that the first one is Muharram, the second one is Safar, the third one until Zulhijjah. So Zulhijjah is the twelfth one. It's all it's all it's also twelve, just like the Western calendar or Gregorian calendar. Now number two, Ramadan is the part of how many of us are fasting? If you are fasting, just raise up your hand. Today is Saturday. How many of you are fasting? Mashallah, Zahir is fasting. Others, I can't see you all on your camera. So, whether you are in America, whether you are in London, Malaysia, whether you are in um, you are in France, whether you are wherever you are, we are all fasting. Muslims all over the world are fasting. So it is a period of fasting for all Muslims all over the world. Can everyone hear me, please? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, please please enable your camera. So that is number two divination or what ramadan is and number three ramadan is a period of prayer and spiritual reflection for muslims yes this time we pray a lot we pray a lot during this month it's a month of prayer month of spiritual reflection very when we be closer to allah yes because we pray we fast you know Everything is about prayer, praying, praying to Allah. You know, we do what we call Tarawi prayer. We stand in the night after Salah to Isha. We pray like it. Oh, Rashida. Put your mic. Okay, no problem. Already muted. So, and lastly, Ramadan it means when Muslims abstain from drink food 
and all such from dawn till sunset. Yes, in the month of Ramadan, Muslims do not drink, Muslims do not eat food, Muslims do not engage in fighting, abusing, causing, you know, or something like. So when you take it, it will be like you have uh, eaten. So Muslim don't engage in in all this act from dawn till sunset. So when it is done, when we finish our sahur, we all take sahur in the middle of the night till sunset. That is what we call Ramadan. So that is Ramadan. Now I've given you four different definitions of Ramadan. So we continue. Now we all know what Ramadan is. Are we? Do we know what Ramadan is now? Yes. 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 Okay, now let's listen. Um, oh, oh, surprise! Ramadan is coming, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are going to learn about Ramadan. Let's go. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic year. It is the most blessed month according to Quran and Hadith. It said in the Quran in Surah Al Baqarah, Ayah 183. For you who have believed, decreed upon you is fasting as it was decreed upon those before you that you may become righteous. So what we do in Ramadan? During Ramadan, Muslims all around the world keep fast for the whole month. After the Ramadan moon is sighted, fasting is one of the five pillars of Islam. We start our fast with a whole that is a core for their prayer and do not eat or drink till Maghrib Azan is called. <laughs> Muslims not on but also refrain from doing bad deeds. We should not lie, backbite, steal, or do any bad deed. In short, Ramadan is the time to look in our lives to understand what we should be doing and what we should be avoiding. During Ramadan, all good deeds are multiplied many times. So if you're offering fair or giving sadka, you will get more reward than usual. If fast, we offer prayers, we decide the Quran and pay lots of to help us to feel how the needy or less privileged spend their days and nights. Do you know when Quran was revealed? It was in the month of Ramadan. When Laylatul Qadr, that was the night among the last ten days of Ramadan. It is mentioned in Surah Qadr, this night is better than the thousand months. Imagine seeking and making dua on this night. There will be lots of rewards. SubhanAllah! The best thing I like about Ravatan is the Shaitin are changed. It is mentioned in the Hadith. When the month of Ramadan begins, the gates of heaven are open and the gates of hellfire are closed and the devils are chained. Ramadan is coming, friends. Happy Ramadan in advance. May Allah help us to do lots of ibadah and good deeds. Amen. Okay, let's say Amin. Amin. Allah should help us to do a lot of good deeds in this month of Ramadan. Yes. So, you know, this is about Ramadan. In this month of Ramadan, all the gates of heaven are opened. The gates of heaven are opened. In this month of Ramadan is the month in which the Quran 
was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Quran, this Quran, you know everything was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah Akbar. And that day that was revealed was called the night of Laylatul Qadr. So we are still going to learn about Laylatul Qadr. So in the month of Ramadan, we are expect to engage in good deeds. When we engage in good deeds, we are going to have a lot of rewards from Allah. This month, Allah says, He made it compulsory for us as it was said in Quran 2, verse 183. So if I ask you which chapter of the Quran talk about the uh about ramadan in quran 2 verse 183 allah says oh you believe ramadan has been made compulsory upon you as it has been made for those before you so that you may become righteous yes we are fasting so that we may be among the righteous yes now our topic, righteousness. We are fasting so that we be among the righteous. Hmm, that is very important. You must know that. That is the essence of fasting. So that we can become righteous. So that we can become among the righteous. We can have taqwa. Yes, that is what taqwa, righteousness. So that is the essence of Ramadan. Now, ha. Ah, you know, we have now have we now have many questions. If I ask you, number one, when did the Quran reveal to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? It was revealed in the month of Ramadan. Which part of the Quran talk about the Ramadan? Is Quran two verse one hundred and eighty three or chapter two verse one hundred and eighty three? Allah says the Quran was made compulsory for us. So that we can become righteous. So that we can become righteous. Yes, yeah, so that we can become. Now we want to know what is righteousness. MashaAllah. What is righteousness? You know our topic. Who can remind me? Our topic. What is our topic? Who can remind me? Mashallah. Ramadan lecture. Yes, it's Ramadan lecture, but our topic, there is a topic. The topic is where to uh, yes, yes, yeah, but it is virtues of righteousness in the month of Ramadan. So when you engage in righteousness, what are the rewards we are going to have? Now we want to know what is righteousness. Because when you fast as Muslim, once you are fasting, so fasting is expected to increase your righteousness. So what is righteousness? MashaAllah. Number one, righteousness means doing what is right and good according to Islamic morals. Yes, as Muslim, we have our morals, good morals. Islam teaches good morals. You have to be dutiful to your parents. You don't fight your friends. You have to be kind. These are good morals. So, righteousness means doing what is right and good according to Islamic morals. When you are doing what is good, you know, based on the video you watched the last time, it said in Ramadan, we are expected to increase in our good deeds. So, when you are doing righteousness, it means you are doing good. And this good, you are going to have rewards big rewards from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so allah says yes righteousness means doing what is right and good according to islamic morals and number two righteousness involves being honest kind fair respect others and fulfilling one's rest one's duties and obligations so that is righteousness it involves being what being honest kind fear respect others 
and fulfilling one's duties and obligations. Yes, if I ask you what is our duties, yes, we have our duties and obligations. One of our duties is to observe our salat, to observe prayer is our duties, it's part of our duties. Yes, we also have that is our duties to Allah. Our duties to Allah is to observe our prayer, observe our salat. Allahu Akbar. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You observe your salat. That's one of our duty. One of our duty is fasting. Yes. One of our duties is to believe in Allah. Yes, one of our we have our duties to our parents. You help your parents. It's your duties. When your parents call on you, when your parents say, okay, Farida, come and help me in the kitchen. You help your mom. Ah, Farhan, where are you? Come and help me. You have to help your mom. That is your duties. You know, when you are doing your duties, oh, Zubair, come over here. Come over here. Come and help your brother. Oh, your mom call upon you or your dad call upon you. It's your duties to answer them. Oh, Zubair, Zahir, come and help me with my car. Come and clean my car for me. Come and help me. Okay. Dad, I'm coming. I will help you. Good, good child. You are now a good child. That's your duty. Allah will reward you for doing that. Okay, everyone? Yeah, yes. So when you are doing your duties, you are doing righteousness. Okay, everyone? Yeah. You all said yeah. you are fasting today. Yeah. Sabila, are you fasting? Oh, Zavira is not fasting, no problem. Okay. But Rashida, are you fasting? fasting. No. Oh, you are not fasting, no problem. No problem. Fasting for parents. No problem. So, yes, when we are fasting, is righteousness. When you help your mom and dad at home is righteousness. So when your mom say, do your assignment on time, it's righteousness. You know, it's a right. Your teacher asks you to do your assignment on time, it's righteousness. You know, so that is our duties. When you do your duties, it's righteousness. Okay? When you come to the class on time, yes, you join your class on time, you read your Quran, when you read your Quran, you know, you do your assignment is righteousness. Yes, because you are doing what is right and good according to Islamic morals. You have to take note of that, everyone. Righteousness means you have to do, you have to be doing what is right and good according to Islamic morals. You know one thing the Prophet Sallallahu said, Righteousness is good character. Righteousness is what? Hmm. Maybe I'm going to ask you this in the Kaut. Righteousness is good character. Yes. When you have good character, you don't fight anyone in school. When your mommy call upon you, you answer her. Come and help me in the kitchen. You help your mom in house chores. That's good character. Okay. You are honest. When you are honest, you don't to lie. When you are not speaking lies, oh, mashallah, that is character. And you know, the Prophet said so. Righteousness is good character. And you know what? The opposite. And sin is whatever bothers you. And you don't want people to know about it. Oh, that is not, that is bad. So if you don't want to engage in sins, you do righteous. You do righteous act. You know, being kind, you respect others, you do your assignment on time, you help your parents in the house chores. Hmm. That is righteousness. Do you know what is righteousness now? Yeah. You know, that is why in Ramadan is very important. What does is is big a good character? What do you say? What does is it's speak a good character. Please, can you, you can't see my screen. No, uh, I said 
Like the sins, like the sins is it's being a good character. Okay, wait, wait. I learned back. that you can you can see my screen. Can you see my screen now? Mm, no. You can see what I'm presenting on the screen. No, I can't see it. Okay, I stop the presentation. I do it again. So for your question, you can hold on your question. Okay. Okay. So you can ask your question after the presentation. Can you see the screen now? Yeah. You can see clearly, right? Yeah. So now, we all say what is righteous. And number one, when you are doing what is right and good according to what? According to Islamic morals. Okay? And number two, we say that righteousness is good character. Righteousness is what? Good character. Good character. Yes, righteousness is good character. Okay, go to the next one. So now we want to know about the values of Ramadan. Number one is self-discipline. Self what? Self-discipline. Number two, increase rewards. Number three, spiritual growth. Number four, forgiveness of sins. Number five, community bounding and number six empathy and compassion i will just explain this the one when you are fasting so it's promote self-discipline you are going to be disciplined so you are going to be disciplined you won't you know you'll be very cool uh in fact you won't be able to fight anyone at times you may want to be sleeping and also when you are fasting yeah yes, it is but allah will do that that's absolutely because here is what i'm presenting what do you see here the, the futures of wabadad The futures of Wabadad. Okay, now, the virtues of Ramadan, as we are saying, so they are going to be forgiven. Yes, in Ramadan, there will be increased rewards. You know, from the video you first watched, it said once you engage in a righteous act, you are going to have a lot of rewards, more than 10 rewards for an act. Allah will be the one to reward us. So fasting also, the fast you are taking, Allah said will be the one to reward it. And also when we are fasting, we do share things among ourselves. There is always a, you know, there is always a community bonding that people will love ourselves, share things together. And also there is what we call empathy and compassion. Yes, you know. When we are fasting, you don't think of fighting your neighbors. You don't think of, uh, you know, everyone used to be very, you know, you 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 have empathy. So you have that, uh, you know, feelings for others that are fasting. And also it is spiritual growth. Because in the month of Ramadan, we are going to engage in lots of prayers. We are going to be praying Tarawih, we are fasting. And all this allow we use it to forgive all our sins. Now, yes, what is the purpose of fasting? Number one, for us to obey Allah. That is number one. As it was said in Quran 2, verse 183, for us to become righteous. So, purpose of fasting is that it enables us to obey Allah. Yes, 
develop self-control. To be able to control ourselves, you know, as we are fasting, you know, some 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 of us we get tired. Oh, please, I can't do anything. Again. I'm tired. Won't you play football? Ah, I can't play football today because I'm tired. To be able to control yourself. Okay, now and spiritual growth. Yes, it is very good because we are going to be doing a lot. Another benefit of fasting is that healthy habit it is not good to be a, a what is it called a um to become someone that eats a lot when you eat a lot it may lead to obesity so don't be for food only or when you are fasting fasting will regulate it and you have been fasting from morning to night it will regulate your body it's eat healthy when you are fasting you become healthy when you are fasting you become and also a good character yes good character so now let's listen Ramadan the month of Ramadan is all oh see if we waited as long we waited a while go the month is early go the month is early go the month is early the month is early why do we fast Ramadan is the most blessed month of the year the question we might have is why do we fast in this blessed month? To find the answer, let's look at the Quran since that is our best source. In Surah Baqarah, verse 183, the last two words are لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّتُونَ And here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to say is that we increase our taqwa by fasting during Ramadan. But how do we have taqwa? And what is taqwa? Taqwa is when we try not to do any bad things. So, how can fasting increase our... Ramadan, the month of Ramadan, till sunset, and then we can eat. It is a very difficult thing to fight between our mind and our stomach, and some of our our friend might lose that and he might hurt it before sunset. But most of us in Salva can begin that fight because our stomach is fasting. During the 30 days of Ramadan, we try to make our minds control our bodies more. For an example, when we fast, sometimes we can become very weak and we might not want to pray. ordering our body to go and make wudu. Our minds orders our tongues not to say those bad words. Even our eyes might want some bad TV program or videos. But during our fasting, our minds orders our eyes not to see any of those bad things. And if we want to use our hands to do bad things, our mind controls our hands to stop so we don't do any bad things. During the 30 days of fasting, when we try our best to use our minds not to do any bad things, and when we try our best to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy and not to do those bad things, our taqwa becomes stronger and stronger. Ramadan is a training time for our mind. And to make our training easy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even puts our biggest enemy, Shaitan, in chains and locks him up so our minds can easily become a good boss to control what we do. When we fight, we train ourselves to become a better person. So, then after Ramadan, we can easily do great things to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide all of us this Ramadan and help us continue to make him happy even after Ramadan ends. Amen. Yes. The month of mercy. So Ramadan is the month of mercy. Ramadan is the month of what? 
Mercy. It's the month of mercy in Ramadan. So in Ramadan, you can see that we engage in a lot of things. When we engage in a lot of things, that is righteousness, Allah reward will reward us abundantly. So we are going to have a lot of rewards of Allah. That is number one. And in this month of Ramadan, it was said in the video that the so-called devils, the devils have been, the devils have been tapping down. So in the month of Ramadan, you must caution yourself. You don't play games. This month of Ramadan, you must perfect your memorization of Quran. You must perfect your recitation of Quran. Try. We are not fasting. You have to do other good things like reading Quran, you know, reading your Quran. These are good things. Doing all your assignments that has been given to you in the month of Ramadan. Know, know how to identify all the Arabic letters you can read on your own. Okay, I want to try to read Quran on my own. This is what you are expected of you. This is what I expected of you in this month of Ramadan. So now we go to Ramadan goals. So as we have said earlier in Ramadan, you don't watch a lot of videos. Even don't watch videos. So spend it just for 20 minutes or 30 days. Out of 365 or 364 days we have, you just want to sacrifice just 20 or 30 days for you not to watch videos, for you not to play games. Oh, you can do it. Can we do it? Yeah. Yes, we can. We are not going to be playing games, watching videos. Huh? We can do it. So, Ramadan goals. Number one, reading Quran regularly. You must be reading regularly our Quran. All what you have memorized. You have memorized Surah al balaq Surah Al-Nam, Surah Al-Kafirun, Surah al -Nas. all these. You know, that is why, you know, tomorrow we are going to have peace competition, Quranic competition. Yes. Just for us to, to be reading Quran. Just for us to be reading Quran. Because this is the month of Quran. And that is why we are having Quranic competition. So you have to read a lot of Quran. We're going to have a lot of reward and performing extra prayers. Yes, Tarawi. That is Tarawi. How many of you know Tarawi? Me. Mashallah. Tarawi is the prayer. Is the prayer after Salah to Isha. So it's either 10, 11, is either 10 or 20. So at, after Isha prayer, we stay in the monastery to pray Tarawi. So it's part of what we are expected to be doing in the month of Ramadan. And also, you have to be more patient and kind. You have to be kind to others. Kind, kindness, patient. So you don't say, oh, mommy, I'm tired. Please, I can't help you in the kitchen. Not go back. Yes, you have to be patient. Don't fight anyone. If anyone wants to fight you, you say, I'm fasting. Even when anyone wants to abuse, you don't abuse back. You say, I'm fasting. That is habit. And lastly, among what you are expected to be doing in the month of Ramadan is helping with household chores. Help your mother's kitchen. Don't just leave your mother in the kitchen to be doing everything. You help them. You do what? You try to help them. Are you all with me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we are going to the end of our discussion. So, we are going to the end of our discussion. Yes, Ramadan fasting teaches uh, obedience, yes. self control, and spiritual growth. These are all righteousness. These are all what? Righteousness. Righteousness is when you are doing what is right. Good character. When you are being obedient, that is a good character. When you can control yourself, even if someone abuses you, you don't abuse back. And when you are praying your solar every time, that's a very good heart. 
and also it promotes healthy habits. Yes, Ramadan, when you are fasting, you are healthy. Yes, all what you have been eating since all these days, all your, um, uh, maybe your yogurt, all what you have been eating, your burger, everything you have been eating for almost more than 365 days. Now, when you are fasting, it makes you healthy. It gives yourself, it gives your body health. And last one is empathy. Yes, there will be, you, you, there will be a feeling for others that are fasting, and it build our character. Yes, true fasting will learn valuable life lessons, grow spiritually, and become better individuals. That is being right. Are we a better individuals? Yes. Yeah. With Ramadan, with Ramadan, are we going to become best individuals? Yes. Inshallah. Let's say Inshallah. Inshallah. So now.